Welcome to the something or other tour. That place is really old. So apparently George Washington had a farewell dinner on the second story of that building. I'm across the street from Fr Fr France's Tavern. Fran France's, Francois's Tavern. I don't know how you say it, but it's right there. That building was built in 1716 and has a bunch of history connecting it to the American Revolution. George Washington, for Pete's sake, he was in there. It's crazy you got all these big like financial buildings over here and then you turn around there's like colonial stuff. So this is Lower Manhattan. Might be like the financial district. It's right by the New York Stock Exchange, right down the street. Wall Street's right down the street. So, I don't know. All right, rain's really coming down. I gotta get in there. I'm gonna find refuge in there just like the Patriots did. The Sons of Liberty met here. It's insane. All right, hopefully they let me in. <laughs> All right, so yesterday it started pouring and the museum was closed. So back again, day two. It's like this whole block has been preserved by the Sons of Revolution. Really cool. Yesterday I came in just to seek refuge from the storm. <laughs> this time I'm actually gonna take a look around. So the downstairs is still a restaurant and bar, but the upstairs is a museum. It's crazy it's still functioning after all these years. I'm gonna take a look around the bottom first. Whiskey bar. So there's like multiple bars, a restaurant, they have live music down here. Almost 300 years. Actually, more than 300 years. It's cool, man. Welcome to Francis Tavern Museum. Welcome to New York City history. Welcome to American history. All right, so Franz's Tavern, I had it right. This room is cool. So basically the story of this is that this was originally a mansion owned by a guy named Delancey. And then a gentleman named Sam Francis bought it, turned it into a tavern called the Queen's Head. Eventually it became known as Francis Tavern. All the movers and shakers of the American Revolution would meet here and it was just, it was a tavern, it was popping. Right after the Revolutionary War, General Washington gave his farewell dinner here to all his officers. He was planning on retiring to Mount Vernon. Unfortunately for him, the nation soon formed after that. He was called to duty, and he was the first president. New York was the first capital, so he was actually inaugurated here. And this building housed some of the first federal offices, including the Department of Treasury and the Department of War. This building has so much American history. It's just, it's just nuts. I mean, George Washington, for Pete's sake. Martha Washington's shoe, Yeezy season two.
A group called the Sons of the Revolution helped save this whole block and preserve it. This part of Manhattan was actually underwater until like the late 1600s and then they created it with a landfill. Apparently that's George Washington's tooth and a lock of his hair. The United States was literally formed in this building. Huge important pieces of this country were built in here. It's nuts. This room shows the evolution of the American flag. Really cool. Is that the granddaddy of them all, or? <laughs> I wish I could go up there so bad. really want one of those. The amount of history in here is just nuts. There's no way I could show everything. So when you're in New York, you gotta check it out. Officer Sash, so fancy. George Washington is in here. All right, that's Francis Tavern. Way too much history to fit in one video, so you gotta come down, check it out yourself. Super dope, like the history, amazing. And it looks like a fun time downstairs. So yeah, if you're in New York, check out Francis Tavern. Something or other tour. Like, subscribe, share, do all that. Do the cool stuff that cool kids do. Yeah. I'm like, no shame. No shame. Y'all didn't get a master's degree. <laughs> <laughs>